I grew up on a farm in a very small town called Patchywollock down in North West Victoria. So the Tall Poppy Awards, I think, a recognition for my part and our, our team's work that we've been um, doing studying malaria predominantly in Malaysia for the last few years, where I did my PhD over in Sabah. There has been significant gains, particularly the last 30 or 40 years in terms of countries like Malaysia where malaria was you know, highly endemic now to the point where they're trying to reach elimination and there's a number of major threats to reaching that goal. So one of them um, is definitely um, resistance to anti-malarials. Um, you know, there's also resistance to the insecticides that are used to treat um, bed nets to prevent getting bitten by the mosquitoes making sure that we're diagnosing the infections and actually treating um, a lot of infections which are very hard to, to find, which might be only you know, existing at very, very small levels in the blood. And also just strengthening the, the public health system. So they're major um, you know, aspects which are really going to require sort of very strong ongoing vigilance to make sure that um, all these gains we've, we've made um, you know, in these countries with our country partners aren't lost. The suburb's beautiful, it's um, you know, an incredibly stunning tropical place. Um, I lived up um, in the northwest um, tip of Borneo I'm in a small town called Kudat and we also travelled to a number of the, the small rural district hospitals there. Uh, we, had, yeah, we had a number of traditional boats to get to certain places. So, um, you know, in Saba, for example, there was only one infectious disease um, specialist in the whole state uh, and he's a great friend and mentor for me as well. Um, and you know, along with all our big sort of local staffed teams there, so we had a number of um, lab people, microscopists, um, field workers, drivers, you know, a, quite a large sort of collaborative team there that we worked with. I think a good day in Subba was seeing the direct sort of policy implications of the work you're doing and seeing the um, the pleasure and the happiness that that sort of brings. The whole notion of doing the work and having really good outcomes and then being able to show some of that work to the, lo the, the local staff and to say you've really changed and had an impact on the, not just the communities where you're working but also you know, not um, you know, more broadly in the region. So some of those days where we got to show them the actual work and what, what had happened were, were pretty exciting, I think.